so I'm going to give you a quick uh, run through on setting up SAB and ZB uh, for randomized MZB file downloading. Uh, this is just uh, the basics. Uh, first thing you have to do is download and install SAB NZB. Uh, just do a Google search, it's free. It is a web based interface program. Uh, I have already uh, downloaded it to my desktop. Uh, you will also have to uh, download and install WinRAR and 7-Zip. You can do this later though. I will provide links when I post this uh, tutorial. Now to install SAB NZBD. <clears throat> like I said, I already have mine install uh, part of the program here, so I'm just going to click on it. Windows 8.1, so you have to go through the rigmarole. Yes, and I agree. Only part here worth noting is uh, the NZB file association. Uh, if you download uh, uh, an NZB file and you tick this part here, it will automatically start up SAB NZB and download your file. I personally don't like it. I, I stick to the, the manual. I want to do it myself, so I don't tick this. It's your choice, though. And on to next. And this is the directory where it's going to install SAB NCB. You can change it if you want. I just keep it to default. Just go next. I do not uh, want to create shortcuts. I never do. And just click on install. It takes a few seconds to do this. I don't want to show release notes. And click on finish. And you'll notice that it's put the link up to the web interface here for SAB NZBD. Uh, we're not going to start the program right now. Uh, we have a couple other things we have to do before we get to that point. <coughs> and so I'm going to go over here to my taskbar and open up my file explorer. I use uh, Explorer, XY Explorer. Yeah, you probably have File Explorer or Windows Explorer. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. And I'm going to use C root or C drive for, for this application. So I'm just going to go up here and click on C. And I want to uh, make a new directory or a new folder. Um, SAB NZB needs it to work. So I'm going to create them. So I'm going to right click on the screen and uh, select new folder. And uh, for this uh, <coughs> tutorial, I'm just going to call this uh, download. NZB. And hit enter. And it will create that directory or folder. Now we want to open it up and then create a new folder here, a subfolder. And we'll right click again and add new folder. We'll call this one complete. Hit enter to create that. And then we want to go back and make another one. So click on new folder again, and we'll call this one incomplete. Hit enter. And now we have our, our two subfolders underneath our, our download folder. Okay, so now we're going to close this out for the time being. And we're going to go over... <coughs> and set up our SAB NZB interface program. We'll click on that. It takes a few seconds. This uh, has to 
has to uh, go through the web to open this up. And here we go. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go over to config up here. Click on that. And there's nothing we want to change in that first window at all. So we'll skip on down to general and we'll click on that. The first part, we won't change anything other than the web interface. And this is your choice. There's a drop down. I use plush gold. You can use whatever you wish, whatever suits your eye. And save those changes once you've, you've made your selection. Pretty much everything else I don't change. You might want to check this here. I set mine to 200 uh, M. Now on to folders. We'll click on that. And this is where we made our folders and directories in our, <coughs> our file explorer here a few minutes ago. And we'll have to set these. Um, these are my old default ones, but we're going to browse and set up the new ones we just made. We'll click on this file folder here to open it. You have to click on it twice. And the one we just created was called Download NZB. We'll click on that file folder. And the first one is our incompleted directories. So we'll click on that, then OK. And it will put that information in here. And we'll drop down to the completed download folder and do the same thing. I want to change this to the one we just created. So I'll go to Browse, Stop Folder, Twice, then Download NCB. We just created that folder, and there's subfolders under it. We want to change that one to Complete, and then OK. And here we are. That one is set up as complete. That one is set up as incomplete. <clears throat> I'm not going to get into the password file. Uh, if anybody wishes to do this, uh, just leave a, a post or a comment on this thread after I post it, and we'll help you set that up. It's just a text file for inputting your password so you don't have to do it manually every time. And that's about it. Now we just want to save those changes. Always save the changes. Then down to switches. <clears throat> the top part we won't change at all. We'll just scroll down to post processing. And normally I select everything here. Uh, with a little uh, note on extra part two parameters, I usually set this to minus T plus. It might work for you, it might not. Just keep this in mind. And I always save those changes. <clears throat> the naming part is pretty self explanatory. Uh, it's your choice to do what you want here. Whatever you change, save those changes. Nothing else here needs to be changed. Then on to our server. And I'm assuming here that you have a using a server client because you do need one. You, you cannot use this program or any Usenet downloading program unless you have an account. And this is where you set it up at. And uh, I already have mine set up, so I have these one, two, three, four accounts already set up here. Yours will be blank. All you will see is add server. <clears throat> and we'll click on the add server. 
and this screen will pop up where you put all your information in. For simplicity, I already have an account set up uh, with Super News, and uh, I'll drop down to that one there and show details to show you exactly what you have to put in and, and where you have to put it. Uh, like your host is wherever you got your your server from. It could be like Super News, Astro Web. Thunder News, anything. And you have to put that information in this line here. And you will get that information. And there are various choices you can use here. And they tell you what you can use. The port. I am using SSL myself, so I use port number 443. You can use other ports. <coughs> And your server client will give you the information on what you can enter in this area. Your username. When you signed up for your server client, this is the username that you signed up with. You have to provide that. And the password that you use for that account, you have to provide that also. Connections. This varies. Uh, some clients offer 10, 15, 20, 30, 50. Super News happens to offer 30, so I use all 30 of them. Retention time uh, varies. All uh, server clients are different. Uh, it can range from 1,500 to 2,000. Uh, I always use 2,000. With super news or all of them I don't think it really makes a difference better more than less <clears throat> then on to timeout I set mine to 120 seconds and this seems to be quite adequate for what I do I don't think you will ever have to change this then down to SSL and we'll tick that because I am using a 443 SSL port and we have to enable that. The backup server, we're not using this as a backup server or a block account, so we'll leave that alone and we'll leave this alone also and save those changes. <clears throat> now we'll go back to show details on the account we just created. We want to test that server. And obviously, all the information we put in seems to be right because we have a connection. You're good to go. Now over to the rest. The scheduling, the notifications, categories, sorting, special, RSS, help. I'm not going to go into any of those. So we're pretty much set up here. So we'll just double check and make sure we'll save all these changes. Now we're going to go back up here to our web interface page, SABMCBD. And we'll click on that. <clears throat> I'll get rid of this. And there's a couple things here worth noting. Uh, for your downloads, your NCB files you have multiple ones, three, four, five, six, and you want to see all, all of them listed here, you select what you want. Five, ten, twenty. I normally select five or ten. We'll keep it at five for this. And then on to history. This will be blank because you haven't downloaded anything yet. <clears throat> but if you want to list everything that you've downloaded, or partial, click the drop down and show fiber page, timber page, or everything, and select that, and we're good to go. We'll go with 10. Okay, on to the good stuff.
I'm assuming you've already downloaded an NZB file. Now we want to add it to SAB NZB. So it will download it. We go up to the here and add NZB. We're going to have to browse for the file or the NZB file. I, I don't know where you would have put yours. I just put mine under C, C root downloads for simplicity here. I will browse to that. And this is a file. It's a randomized file that I upload for this sample. And we'll click on that one. And then we'll pop that into here. Once it's into there, you hit the upload button. And once it's disappeared from there, you can close that. <clears throat> and this will give you the uh, progress of the file you're downloading. And this will give you the speed of the file you're downloading. Time. More information up here too. And once this is all done, it should pop it up down into history. And it's a little late in the night here for me. Uh, my connection's a bit slow. Shouldn't take too long though. Hang with, hang in there. And here we'll give you your information. It's verifying there's no repair needed. Now it's unpacking it. Now the file is completely downloaded. You can click on it for the information. And this file will go to the folder or directory we created, uh, download NZB, and it will be under the complete folder. And we'll go back there and check that. I'm just going to close this out. Open up my file explorer. And we'll go to download NCBs. Under complete. And there is the file. We'll click on it. It's a randomi randomized name. Once it's unpacked, it will show you exactly what the file is. And that's about all there is to it. Good luck. And then, like I say, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Thank you.